Hello everybody, this is Simone from Epica and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. You can now check out a new interview posted online from Killswitch Engage guitarist Joel Strotzel as he had a chat with Matthias Henriksen of A Swedish Ficka with. And they talked about the new Killswitch Engage album and the recording sessions. This will be their follow-up to Atonement. And he stated, we just finished all the final bits of tracking over the last couple of weeks. So the guitars are done, all the vocals are now done everything's there so Adam's um, just kind of piecing things together so if there needs to be any edits he's going to do those and then we'll just figure out if he wants to mix it or if he wants to send it off to some fresh ears we haven't decided but everything sounds good so far I think at least we think we hope Joel also stated the band recorded too many songs for the new album he said it's a good problem to have there'll be tricky parts and once they're all mixed we'll have to decide what's going to be on the record and what's we can save for b-sides or special things we'll figure that out at least it's done being recorded that's the big thing for us and regarding vocalist Jesse Leach, as he stated recently that the band's new album has been the most difficult kill switch album for him, Joel stated, yeah, he came back and retracked a lot of stuff because he had, over the past few years, he's kind of trained his voice to do the fry technique live, which has been great. It's been kind of a godsend for him live because he never blows his voice out anymore. But I think him and Adam were finding when he was tracking using that technique, he wasn't getting all the different growls and things he used to get. So he decided to go back and kind of revisit things, maybe swallow some glass and go for it. He's been doing great. So that's uh, awesome. We should have a new kill switch, hopefully in 2024. Check out the full interview on YouTube. That link is in the description. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.